So we are now recording. This is Kim Grennan. This is episode 6 of Mommy Cosm Reviews. Um, today is November 23rd, 2010. And in today's episode, we have products from da -da -da, Boston Market. And we have Miracle Body Jeans. We're going to start off with Boston Market. Today is November 30th, isn't it? <laughs> Today is not November 23rd. Today is November 30th, and yeah. I don't even have a fever this time for that. See, first typo already within it. All right, here we go. We're going with this. We're going to start off with Boston Market. It is a backwards day. I'll explain that to everybody if we have time at the end. Um, Boston Market, that's your question. Are they high jeans? Um, they are, and I'm going to show you the different styles on there um, as well um, so that you can see the different ones when we get to the jeans. We're going to start off first, though, with Boston Market. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Boston Market. Um, I recently attended the launch party for Boston Parent Bloggers, of which I am a member, and they sponsored um, the event and gave away things as well. Um, I have always loved Boston Market. Their, their meals are just really yummy and they're inexpensive and you can eat really healthy food if you choose to do so, um, if you want to. Their rotisserie chicken is amazing. I love it. Um, it doesn't cost much money and it's a good home cooked meal. Um, so I'm sure most of you are familiar with Boston Market and their chicken dinners. Um, so I'm not going to go too much into that just to review that. Things that I found out that I really liked about Boston Market that I wanted to highlight are their fundraisers. I'm not sure if you're aware of them. If you have fundraisers in the area, um, or if you have, uh, yeah, if you have kids, which most of you do, because it's Mommy Cosm Reviews, um, different and innovative fundraisers um, are always a challenge. Um, instead of the standard chocolate bars and wrapping paper, I highly recommend doing something like this. They have all, they have three different options for their fundraising, and they're very cool. Um, the first would be a restaurant night. Um, our schools do it for McDonald's um, and Wendy's. Boston Market has a restaurant night if you have one in your area. Unfortunately, we don't have one close. Um, but I definitely would recommend checking that out because they will give 15% um, of all the, the, tail, the sales pre-tax um, to the fundraiser people that are behind it. So uh, whether it be a school or a sports organization or, or a club or whatnot that you're trying to raise money for a charity, um, they send the fundraiser check within four to six weeks. They will help you print a, a customizable flyer and event tickets and everything. So it would definitely help. I'm seeing people getting feisty in my chat again. My husband can't help himself. Okay, the other two ways that they do fundraisers. The gift cards. Um, they will offer gift cards at a 12% discount. Um, and you can sell the gift cards for the face value then. And twelve, you get 12%. Um, for your uh, charity or your, your your organization that you're looking to fundraise for. My favorite one, and one that is um, something similar, a restaurant similar um, to Boston Market did this um, at the high school where I coach, um, and they will do a catered fundraising dinner. Um, you can charge attendees $10. I believe the rate, it, it, it's a discounted rate per person. I believe we paid $7.50. Um, and then we charged each individual in advance $10, and they came and ate buffet style, um, all of our, what would be Boston Market's food. Um, and all the difference would be um, for that. Um, and I'm seeing people in my chat screen. I kind of want to go hang out over there. Um, so let's chat so that I can chat with people and get involved in here. What is your favorite meal at Boston Market? Let me know in chat, and I will and mention... Um, I will talk about it online so it makes it onto the video as well. So you guys are all distracted. Pistachi, yeah, no, pistachi. <sighs> to my viewers that are from here, which is most of you, pistachi is a really yummy food in Aruba that unfortunately no restaurant here sells and I'm craving because I saw my in-laws on Skype today. Cornbread, yes, my hubby, hubby loves the meatloaf. Thank you, we're back on track. The rotisserie chicken with sides, chicken mashed. Potatoes, absolutely, these are all awesome ideas. I totally want pistachio and I don't want iguana soup. Um, 
that would not be something that Boston Market would serve. The mac and cheese. Um, my daughter loves mac and cheese, and that's a great one. My sister does too. Um, <laughs> and I see people saying that hubby loves all food, and I'm seeing reference to goat soup, which if you read my blog, you know that um, I ate that in Aruba one year. It's a New Year's Eve thing. Um, I'm not even going to get into that here because that we're getting off track over there. Um, so those are all great. One of my favorite sides at Boston Market is the sweet potato casserole. I love them out, the marshmallows that go on top. Um, and I love to get that and I like to get the corn and the rotisserie chicken as well. So we just talked about what's your favorite meal at Boston Market. You ready for our first giveaway? You guys got to pay attention now. You gotta stop goofing off and making fun of me for iguana soup and goat soup over there. Yep, yep, you're ready. Okay, the first giveaway this evening will be a Boston Market gift card. Retail value is going to be $10. And it's gonna be shipped directly from me because I actually have it in-house. So here is the question. <laughs> Can we win banana bread is not the question. And that is not the gift tonight. You already won some. Okay, the question is, you ready? Boston Market recently sponsored an event I attended. Who did I say hosted the event? The first person to appear on my chat screen with the correct answer will be named the winner. Um, simply because I'm not sure that the chat streams actually sync. And I have a winner. Da, 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 da. Boston Parrot Bloggers is who I said. So I do have a winner. Um, and the winner is Mommy Parent Bloggers. Good job. That was a nice guess let's see let me go back up and the winner is and I'm gonna put it in the chat stream so that we have the record the coupon goddess thank you for stopping by this evening and no you don't get banana bread but you do get ten dollars for um, which you were at that event with me too so you have some of these okay Boston market coupon goddess is the winner nice job Mel all right we're gonna move right along because um, we lost some time with that hiccup earlier and we're gonna go to the second giveaway and again I have another Boston Market gift card with the retail value of ten dollars shipped directly from Mommy Cosm and to let you know um, I have these because um, Boston Parent Bloggers actually gave me a couple of extras um, gave me a couple of extras because um, Mel and I, the coupon, coupon goddess and I Mel and I actually um, helped stuff all those um, swag bags that night so they gave a couple extras and I thought I'd share them with you guys because I like Boston Market and I wanted to give the sponsors of the event a little props so okay here we go you ready for the next question what did I say my favorite side is at Boston Market and you guys need to goof around And we have a winner. The answer is sweet potato casserole. And the winner is Felicia431 is the winner. Um, so um, I see Melanie. I'm actually going to see Melanie tomorrow night um, who won the last one. But Felicia, if you could possibly send me your um, shipping address. I might have it. I believe you may have won something in the past, but please send your shipping address, your full name and shipping ad address to the mommy at mommycosm.com um, during or after the show so that I can get the gift card out to you. I'm just going to mail it to you. Um, seeing in there, get empanadas is what pe some people are saying um, would be my favorite. And if I was in Aruba, um, pistachio and empanadas would be my favorite. Goat soup, not so much. Um, and I will explain further if we have time at the end. If you guys are really curious, I'll stay on board. Okay, we're going to move along here to the Miracle Body Jeans. Um, to let you know, I do have one more um, Boston Market gift card to give away at the end of the, at the, end of the um, episode. I'm seeing something going on in the chat that I'm going to mention, which is this is the... the Hilariousness of live web 
show. Um, my husband's taunting um, somebody that we know um, with our banana bread recipe. Um, I'm not sure that Bar Boston Market has banana bread, but my grandmother had the world's best banana bread, and it's a secret family recipe. It's the one recipe that I'm not allowed to share with anybody, and he actually had to marry into the family um, to get it, and he also had to stick around for a little while before I gave him the order of ingredients and the directions and what it was. So he's totally taunting people there with banana bread recipe because that is not something that we can share. So keep on keeping on here. We're going to talk about the Miracle Body jeans now. Have you guys seen these yet? They have made their rounds on, on a lot of the blogs. Um, really like the Miracle Body jeans. I tried them recently. Um, and if you watched Oprah's Favorite Things this year, which was a huge episode, they actually made it onto Oprah's Favorite Things. So way cool. The jeans come in different styles. They have the straight jeans. They have the bootcut jeans, and they have the skinny jeans. I actually picked the skinny jeans. I like them a lot. They look kind of like this. I'm not going to show you, and no, that is not my abs, and that is not my butt, but that is what they look like. Um, they have another style that actually has like rivets on the butt as well that come in a different color. Okay, so what makes Miracle Body Jeans such a miracle? I'm going to leave this picture up. I'm not sure if you can read it, so I'll read some of it to you. They have contoured waistband fits. Um, the, the contoured waistband it fits about one inch below the belly button. And it says it's for maximum control. Got to be honest with you, this is a little bit higher than the jeans that I'm tip I typically wear. Um, but it does pull things all in. Um, it's slightly higher in the back for a no panty peeking gap free fit, which I appreciate because, you know, not everybody wears those sexy underwear. Um, and some, you know, regular standard underwear creep out of some of the low cut jeans. The pocket bags are stitched flat to eliminate bulk by the belly. Um, there's embroidered, the back pockets that are embroidered um, are designed to draw the eye inward. Um, they have unique handcrafted canvas control panel that flattens the tummy for a smoother shape and two times more spandex than the ordinary jean so that it gently lifts the rear while slimming the thighs. Um, so I have a pair. I, I, as I said, I, I picked out the skinny jeans um, because I was feeling skinny one day and, you know, they say that you can um, lose 10 pounds in 10 minutes. I'm seeing that there's um, some hiccuping going on with Ustream, and I'm not sure what's going on there, but it keeps hiccuping. So we're just going to keep going, and there. Okay, so let's chat while that's going on. Maybe the hiccup will fix itself before we get to the important part. What is the most you would pay for a pair of jeans? I have $100, I have $40, $40 seems to be there. If they make me look thin, $200, 1995 Um, People would buy these because they supposedly make you look like you've lost 10 pounds in 10 minutes, is what it says. Um, Being Loopy says $100 if they made me look really, really, really good. A lot if I lost 10 pounds quickly. Um, my husband's a big liar. He's saying $110. He would kill me if I spent that on my jeans. And of course, Mel would use a really good coupon. And just, okay. Goat soup does that too. Goat soup does make you lose 10 pounds, but it's not within in 10 minutes, let me tell you. It's more like 10 days of complete hell. <laughs> so, no. Um, I'd rather wear the jeans than eat goat soup and go through that again. So, 10 pounds in 10 minutes is what these claim to do. So, let's get to the giveaway because that's what you guys all want right now anyway. Can you guys hear the click, click, click going on behind me? My dog needs, um, I'm seeing hiccups going on again. I'm not sure what's going on with this. Okay, we're going to go to the giveaway. It's one pair of Miracle Body jeans shipped directly from Miracle Body. OK. 
Okay, you guys ready for the... Yeah, that is Chester, Mr. Happy Feet. That is my dog. He's tap, tip-tapping around, around me. I usually shut the door so he can't come down. Okay, are you ready for the question? I want her belly button, too. We're ready. Okay, just making sure that there's no hiccups going on here. The question is, what is the retail price of my Miracle Body jeans that I got? So in chat, the first person to give me the correct price of the Miracle Body jeans that I was given um, for the review. And I'm going to come over here while we wait. A dollar ninety nine. No, they were not a dollar ninety nine. They're not forty. They're not fifty. And we do have a winner. Are you ready for this? They are a little bit pricey. I'm gonna tell you that right away. Um, but I do think that people will pay for them. Um, Ten pounds. If you really want to lose it, yeah, no. I got them for free. Yes. But what is the price of them? They were not one million dollars. The answer was a hundred and ten dollars. And let me just go back up in the chat screen to verify who I thought won, so that I don't mess up and give them to somebody. Da, 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 da. I want her body. Me too, says my husband. That's nice. $110 being loopy sis. So Kelly is the winner. Woohoo. Okay, congratulations to Kelly. Don't all get mad at her now. Yep, Kelly won. <laughs> she won the jeans. Um, I know that was a hot item that a lot of people wanted. Um, so she is very excited, I'm sure. So Kelly, I, I believe you may have won something from Mommy Cousin Reviews in the past, um, but still um, my inbox is about like yay long. So if you could please send me an email today or tomorrow um, so that you can um, send me your full name and your shipping information so that I can get them. Um, People are saying, I hope you're size 10 so I can borrow them. Um, one thing that I do need to note about those when you're ordering them, there is a measuring chart on there. Um, so whether it's Kelly ordering them for her prize or if you guys decide that these are fabulous and you want to go buy them, um, what I would recommend doing is using the measurements. They, I want to say they run small. Um, I'm going to go with they run small, but they run true to what their measurements call for. So get out a measuring tape, check it out. You're ordering them online, you don't want to have to send them back. I, I hate waiting. Um, <laughs> they do run a little bit small, definitely. And I have the skinny jeans. Um, now that I have them, I love them and I can wear them inside my boots and I, I do love them. Um, but I wish I had a pair that were boot cut too because you know I'm selfish that way. I want two pairs <laughs> and I would really like them. I could give them as a gift for Christmas. Sweetheart, you won them yourself. Why would you give them away for Christmas? You're too nice. Um, okay, and we do have another Boston Market gift card. And again, it's a $10 gift card. It's going to be shipped directly from me. Anthony wants to know if... Okay, we're going to go back over here for a second. He wants to know if they add 10 pounds to the chest. I believe they make bras that do that, but um, this is my husband talking, and he doesn't have to worry about me doing that because, unfortunately, well, fortunately for him, yeah, my chest is quite big enough as it is. Thank you very much. Okay, we are moving on to Boston Market, which now Kelly can eat all she wants of um, and wear her 10-pound lighter Miracle Body jeans. So... Again, it's a $10 retail value for a Boston Market gift card, and I will send it to you directly. And are you ready for the question? Are you guys off the bra kick now? And <laughs> Melanie, if I could give you one of my bras, and you could hang it in an Italian restaurant. They're, they're quite ugly. All right. Are we ready for the question? Ready. Thank you. You guys are goofy tonight. What did I add to my own sweet potatoes this Thanksgiving? And I want, well, we'll wait and see. Wow, 
What did I add to my own sweet potatoes this Thanksgiving? I did not add cinnamon. Nope, marshmallow is not the answer. Hi, Mel Higgins. I just saw you on there. And Wells, marshmallow, cinnamon, brown sugar. Oh, we're getting there. It was not sunchi. Yep. Um, they were yummy. It wasn't vodka. It wasn't clear. You guys are getting on the right. I'm going to come over here so you can see me. You are so on the right track. Um, the people that are saying bourbon, vodka, Kahlua, you're close. You're, you're getting red hot. Raisins, no. If you knew my husband, you would know. No raisins in that. No nuts in that either. Nope. Rum, you're getting hotter. Bourbon is close. Hiram Walker, no. I used that for my gingerbread. And we have a winner. It's not the gingerbread liqueur, but I did down a few of those when I was eating my sweet potatoes. Um, anything heavy involving alcohol has Kim's name on it. What does that say? That's not nice. Okay, the winner is whisk said whiskey, and that is Wells Four, which I think I know who you are with that last name. Um, so, if you could email me at the mommy at mommycosm.com, I will um, send you out your gift card and if you're someone I know personally I can get together with you hint hint and then we can do that so true said her husband hey anything involving alcohol has Kim's name on it that's not nice I make really good drinks I just don't drink a lot of them they're really yummy alright that is another episode of mommy cosm reviews it goes by so fast when you guys are getting all goofy on me over there. I do make good grub and I'm going to invite a bunch of you over soon enough and it will have a drink theme. Um, I will let you know now before we, we go off and this can be um, a little scoop for you guys. A couple weeks from now I am going to be having a girls night out um, right here for a live episode of Mommy Cosm Reviews and we have a cool product to go along with that and we're actually going to do a drink contest um, so you're gonna have to compete with um, my gingerbread naughty gingerbread mantinis and my pumpkin teenies as well um, so if you are local you will and want to be invited drop me a um, drop me an email at the mommy at mommycosm.com so that I know um, so that I know um, that you're interested in and you'd like to come and I'll keep you on the invite list when I get it. So I am actually going to run the credits so that we can stop the record um, but I am going to stay on the chat and can stay and talk to you guys for a little while if you'd like. Um, a drinking contest at our house. Can we sleep over? Oh dear. Alright, I'm going to the chat for this conversation. Um, so thank you again for another great episode. Um, of Mommy Cosm Reviews, and I'm going to run the credits. And again, like I said, I'm going to um, I'm going to go over on the chat and finish these conversations with you guys because you guys are hilarious tonight. Here we go.